I am a family nurse practitioner that specializes in integrative medicine. So what that means is that not only do I get to treat them traditionally in the healthcare clinic, but I also get to take care of patients by teaching them disease prevention, lifestyle changes, and treating them with vitamins, supplements, and herbs. So today I wanna to discuss long COVID symptoms, benefits of having your COVID vaccine, and updates on the latest research. But first, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button for the YouTube algorithm. So just remember, I am not your healthcare provider. I do not know your allergies. I do not know your past medical history. I do not know what medications you are taking. So use the information you learned today to have an educated conversation with your primary care provider. Long COVID, otherwise known as the long haulers, are when patients get COVID and continue to have their symptoms 28 days after their illness. This is considered a medical diagnosis at this point, and we do have ICD-10 codes to now support this condition. Unfortunately, we are also seeing this condition in children as well. Long COVID symptoms include fatigue, headache, shortness of breath, brain fog, otherwise lack of concentration, cough, and exercise intolerance. So because long COVID is a new condition, we don't fully know how to treat it. Um, we can support the symptoms. So if they are feeling short of breath or having a cough, we can give them an inhaler. Sometimes I will get chest x-rays. Um, they will show some pulmonary scarring, so scarring on the lungs. Um, I also can get a pulmonary function test, which is to determine how much airflow is coming out and send them to the pulmonologist for pulmonary rehab. For those who have palpitations or can feel their heart beating, I'll send them to the cardiologist to get a full workup. And I'll also send them to a mental health provider. Many patients do have depression after getting COVID. And of course, I'll send them to infectious disease for further workup. Survivor Corpse is an online support group for those who have long haul symptoms. It has about 150,000 members just supporting each other through this. A study showed that those suffering from long COVID symptoms and got vaccinated had no changes or worsening in their symptoms than those who weren't vaccinated. I've actually seen patients who have long COVID symptoms have improvement in their symptoms after getting vaccinated. We are currently studying the Moderna, Pfizer, and Johnson & Johnson vaccine in clinical trials in children. Pfizer recently came out with their study that showed 100% antibody response in 2,260 children ages 12 to 15. So that's very exciting news. They are going to now take this trial information over to the FDA to get approval. And so we should be seeing that vaccine for that age group this summer. Right now there's concern that the coronavirus mutations could render the current vaccine ineffective. This most likely will come from countries that have low vaccine coverage. So we may have to get a booster of the coronavirus vaccine every year, just like we do the flu vaccine. They are trying to come out with a flu and corona vaccine that you can get in one. There was a study on fully vaccinated healthcare workers and first responders who are getting tested routinely in the real world instead of under a clinical trial. They showed a 90% efficacy against asymptomatic and symptomatic infections. They do get exposed to more coronavirus. However, they do get to wear personal protective equipment. The California COVID variant is resistant to one of our monoclonal antibodies we have been treating COVID patients with. So we now have to mix it with another monoclonal antibody to treat these patients. The director of the CDC recently came out with a statement stating that those who are vaccinated do not carry the COVID-19 virus. Women were getting mammograms after getting the coronavirus vaccine, and it was showing lymph nodes in the armpit area, and this is sometimes a sign of breast cancer. So now they recommend to wait six to eight weeks after getting your vaccine to get a mammogram so you don't get that adenopathy in the axilla region. There are so many benefits to being vaccinated. Being fully vaccinated means two weeks after the second dose of the Pfizer and Moderna vaccine 
or two weeks after the first dose of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. So this means that people who are vaccinated can come together indoors without wearing a mask and do not have to practice social distancing. Also, those who are vaccinated can meet with unvaccinated people from a single household as long as they're low risk for severe COVID-19 infection, and they do not have to wear a mask or practice social distancing. Additionally, those who are vaccinated do not need to get tested for COVID-19 if they were recently exposed to somebody who developed COVID-19 and the vaccinated person is feeling asymptomatic. Those who are vaccinated should still have caution when in public. They should still have caution around unvaccinated patients who are high risk and should still avoid medium to large gatherings. Those who are vaccinated should still follow CDC guidelines for travel which currently include not having to get tested for COVID or having to self-quarantine when traveling within the U.S. All right, so that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you learned something new. Comment below. Let me know if you've had long-haul symptoms and what it's been like. You can follow me on Instagram at Kayla Tailored Wellness. And you can check out my description below. I do have a link to competitively priced supplements. And thanks again for watching and letting me tailor your wellness.